let's get back to Power BI. What's the next thing on the list? So we're going to summarize data. How do we summarize data? Let me go back to our query. Let's see if I can borrow a previous query we've used. How do we summarize? So yes, if I look at this auto recon, uh, we know that this auto recon is from January to December, right? If you remember this January, if I load more, lots of things. This is all this month. So what I want to do is just consolidate everything. I don't want to do it in Excel. I want to do it in Power Query. So if I want to consolidate, basically that means I don't want January, February. I just want everything together. So frankly, before I do that, I will need to delete this column. I don't need it by month. So I'm going to remove this. It doesn't add any value. Then if I go to the beginning, I'm going to consolidate everything. So the first thing you should do is all these numbers, all these values you see should be in a single column. How you do that is you highlight your text. This is your unique ID for the transaction. Highlight all three of them. You right click and then you unpivot other columns. Where is unpivot other columns? So you've unpivoted. This, these are now your line items, your payroll line items, pay lines. And then these are your values. Now, can you see that ABC123? It's so annoying. If I leave the ABC123, it's going to mess us up. ABC123 means anything, any value. Never ever use data type of any. <laughs> you will go very far in your Power Query analysis, and then you realize what's going on. It's because you can't consolidate with any. You need to consolidate with decimal number. It's fine, decimal number. So change that, very important. This guy can see his ABC123. In fact, all of these texts, all these are text. So really, all this should be text, right? So data types, just note one thing. Data types, data types, data types are extremely important. So how are we going to do this? We need to do something called group by. Right, so here we are. Um, now, what you want to do is tell it to consolidate values, right? So if I come to group by, really I'm going to group by. So group by is like consolidation. So group by. Now, if you notice here, group by pay line, you choose which pay line, or my grouping by. The thing with group by is you need a unique identifier. This you have to uniquely identify each line so that when we're grouping, we know that look at this guy. All this Cabra Michael, Cabra Michael, Cabra Michael. We need to sum up all of this Cabra Michael. But it's not just Cabra Michael. Well, Cabra Michael, police, maybe there are two people called Cabra Michael. But hopefully there will be one Cabral Michael as the police department and is a captain and we want his transport allowance. And guess what? All his transport allowance for all the various months we want that. Not just this is just one month. All the transport allowance for every single month. So we need to kind of join this and join this and join this and join this. Then we now group. Now I think it's always better to use advanced. So you go to advanced. Then you're saying I want to group by um let me say name, then you add, I want to group by department, add. Now what I see is this is kind of a waste of time. Before you group by, just highlight all the columns you know you want to group by. So name to pay line, you know all of this should be grouped together and then you are now consolidating the value, right? So once you do that, click on group by, then it goes to advance immediately and types everything for you. So it just saves you time. So right here, we're here and what are we doing? We want the total or the summary, really this is the summary yeah and here i go to my operation i want to sum uh, what do i want to sum by i want to sum by the values so we're grouping all this and then we're giving it giving us a summary which sums all the values right say okay what happens it's basically going to give us this is the consolidated gross pay this is the consolidated basic the consolidated transport everything is consolidated not monthly anymore fully consolidated. So that's how you consolidate, right? And uh, I can call this, what will I call this? We're going to call this consolidated. Or summary, let's just call it summarize, summarize data, summarize data. I also advise you don't use spaces in your names. Power Query doesn't like that. Anytime you use spaces, the code just changes. The code you use in another query will change. So anyway, summarize data. That's cool. So what's next? What's the next trick? 